shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And we have supported Ukraine from the very beginning to defend themselves against um, attacks that are coming across the border and for the need for crossfires. Um, so they are taking actions to protect themselves from attacks that are coming from a region that are within the U.S. policy of where they can operate um, you know, our weapons, our systems, our capabilities. This is the first time that Russia has been invaded by foreign troops. And I read uh, since World War II, it appears that the enemy, with the help of the Western masters, is fulfilling their will, and the West is fighting us with the hands of the Ukrainians. The Russian Defense Ministry says extra troops are being sent to the region. A state of emergency is in force. And I saw these submarines look like they were parked right along our beaches, all the way along the East Coast. All of a sudden, the first missile fired out of a submarine, and it went up, and it hit right over New York City. Oh, gods, if this is not happening, then what will be the sign of it happening and of its time? As I spoke those words, these words were spoken very clearly back to me. December the 14th, 1986, when Russia opens her gates and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing, and caring for the masses will begin to let their weapons down and will cry peace and safety. And that's when it will happen. Russia is evacuating parts of its border region with Ukraine as Ukrainian forces continue operations inside Russian territory. The governor of the neighboring Belgorod region announced the evacuation of Russian civilians from a border district. Russia is stepping up the evacuation of civilians as Ukrainian troops advance in their biggest cross-border offensive since the start of hostilities. When Russia opens her gates and lets the masses go. The Russians who are offering but not obliging residents to evacuate. Moscow says it's back evacuated more than 76,000 civilians. What the Russians are playing at and why they are evacuating. When Russia opens her gates and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing and caring for the masses. Russia now organizing the distribution of food and aid as people flee with what little they can carry. What we need is new bedding, sleeping bags, blankets and some other things because the nights are already quite chilly and it's August, it's approaching autumn and unfortunately we don't know how long the situation will continue. Refrigerators, washing machines, microwaves have already been delivered here. Water has been delivered. Sanitary and hygiene supplies have been delivered. That is all that is necessary for people to feel normal. And many are volunteering to donate blood. The acting governor of the Kursk region briefed President Vladimir Putin on the evacuation plans via video link. We have reached an agreement with Russian railways. Three trains have arrived in which we can accommodate 2,400 people. Another eight trains can provide humanitarian aid and evacuate people immediately. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The prophets. And that's when it will happen.